Hi, uh, my name is Dallas Craig. I'm from Canadian Forces Base Greenwood, Nova Scotia, Canada. Uh, if you never heard of it, that's probably because it's only about a thousand people large. I was the first gay person to come out in my high school. I came out to a dad who was uh, a drill sergeant who had, you know, many issues with me being gay. Um, but I was taught that honor and loyalty um, are chief among the things that I want in my life. And I couldn't pretend to be straight if I continued along the path of, you know, oh, I'm going to date girls because that's cool, that's what I do. Realistically, um, I came out at 13 and then finally in 14 when I was fully out and it was pretty bad. I mean, they had meetings about whether or not I could be allowed to change with other gay men or with other, sorry, with other straight men in school and I think that really impacted me. But it didn't make me negative about what other people wanted. It made me positive because that was their right to think those horrible things. And it's my belief that that's their freedom, that's their choice to think those horrible things. And one day I'd like to defend those freedoms because I can't fault them for thinking those horrible things because I think things as well. Um, it always gets better because, well, we make it better. And that's something that I definitely want to share with you that you don't have a choice in who you are, but you have a choice in who you're going to be. If you have a choice to be vindictive or angry, well, I feel bad for you because realistically you should have love and compassion for those who are less tolerant. They don't really understand who you are. They don't understand the love that you have. And for that, I will always feel bad because love should always be something that is shared universally. And realistically, the military in Canada, in the United States, is learning to accept that. And that's something that you should accept as yourself. 15, 16, 17, and 18, these are really hard ages to be gay at. I understand that. Realistically, it's the worst thing in the world when you're shoved into lockers, when you have to scrap or fight with other people just to go to school. But that's what we have to do. And we make it, and we make it strong, and we do it better than the straight people, realistically. I can't ask for anything more because now I'm 25 years old, I'm living my life, I've moved across the world, and I'm finally happy with who I am. Not because I moved across the world, but because I've accepted who I am. In regardless of the military, regardless of, of anything, I am who I am, and if everybody else has a problem with that, then that's their problem. I love who I am. I love who I love. I've loved a lot of people. My dad took 10 years to come around, but now he's one of the greatest supporters of gay marriage that I've ever seen in my life to the point that other gay couples, when they come over, say, oh, your dad's great, he must have been wonderful. Realistically, he wasn't, but now he's one of the most amazing men that I can think of. Because the moment that anybody says that gays shouldn't get married or gays shouldn't serve in the military, my dad's the first to defend them. And I think that's the greatest thing in the world. My mom's the same way. She was Pentecostal Christian, uh, saying that she'll pray for me to be straight. And now, I go back to Canada and, and all I hear is, oh, you're her gay son. We've heard so much about you. She's so proud of you. And it just takes time. And I don't know what else to say, but except that it always does get better. The people that love you will still love you. They just may need to take time. That's all.